And then look at this, look at this picture. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> The purpose of this reaction, or rather, sharing of JP's material that he has published on his channel, JP Lambies, is to let you know that he has, of today, October 26, 2023, published on his channel that Julia stole healthy junk food away from him, and he is actively fighting to get it back. And I'm going to give you that little piece of footage later on, because to be 100% honest with you guys, if I go through his material published today, uh, getting his channel back, uh, I might be able to stretch this to 8 minutes. And uh, let's give that a try. So, um, yeah, it, by the way, the book is going to be released... October 31st this month, 2023, Halloween, of course, and it's $35 American, and it's like $50 Canadian. There is a Kindle version, which is $9.99 in both countries, and probably I'll be going with that. I just never used Kindle before, so there might be a bit of a learning curve. Um, so, uh, me just talking is going to get boring quick. Let's do a soft criticism sort of of what jp has published today and he will say it uh later on uh with this uh, sharing of his material that he was locked out of healthy junk food and he's trying to get it back so um let's see if i can drag this to at least eight minutes let's go three dollars for all this food let me show you how JP. how is that for fast getting inside the restaurant Great job. Let's keep going with this. I went on the Wendy's app and I noticed that they have a... Yeah, I know. He's on the app again. And you're going to say, KDRC, you said all the time he's trying to get you to download the app, but it's a soft ad. Well, back then I was ticked off because the quality of the channel was going down. And it wasn't like what healthy junk food used to be, which was like a real blast when the chemistry was happening between those two. And it was just too many of these things and so I criticized him. It's like, well, are you going back what you said? No, I'm not. When he's stomping around on the property wearing a costume and interacting with staff, yeah, I still believe that's probably a soft ad. And whether it is or is not, he never has to reveal to us whether it is or is not. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I was getting sick of them. So, like, what about this one? He's on the app. This one seems to be based just on his real experience with presenting the coupons and getting away with not having to make a purchase. So even though he accessed the app, it doesn't feel like a soft ad. And, you know, however, if he's stomping around on the property with a costume, I'm going to say, well, okay, good for him. <laughs> it's a soft ad. And uh, as long as he's funny with great content, then I really don't care too much. Just like when the channel was going bad, my criticism was, there's too much of it. So, what's my assessment of this? I think this one feels legit. And it's, it's, well, I don't want to, I'm trying to do this really fast, uh, same day reaction. He, he, he is testing the requirements to make a purchase, and they're letting it go. Remember, this is something that I want you guys to, to note, that policy of stores is not the law. So even though the policy is in the coupon says you have to make a purchase, if they let it go privately, they make that decision behind the scenes, then they can let it go. So that's what he has found. So that's it. Thing called the uh, Boo Bucks. Is that what it's called? Let me look at it one more time. Boo Books. Um, but I think I stumbled upon a really good hack. JP. Hey, how's it going? Jenny's, uh, a Boo Book. Already, I got free barbecue sauce. It is funny that JP after buying a boo book that only costs a dollar and has lots of coupons in it, would ask for and receive free barbecue sauce on top of it. And like, you know, what are you going to do with the barbecue? You're going to eat the book. And uh, the guy says, what, for a boo book? So that was funny. And uh, let's keep going. Can I get some barbecue sauce with that? With a boo book? Because I asked. And then I got this boo book. Look at look at this thing. We're gonna read the details and the terms of uh, terms and conditions on this. It's it's cute. Thought JP says thought went into this, so he notes the graphic design. Good job. 
lot went into this. No purchase necessary. Redeemable for one free Frosty Jr. Valid for one time use. Must be surrendered. Not valid with any other coupon or offer. I'm gonna try to get five free Frosties and then a dollar nine. JP is pulling this right out of the paper in his hand. Old school style, no app required, which is why I approve of it. A kid meal with, with the purchase. I got a 199 kid meal coupon. Oh, oh shit. With the paper in his hand and a willingness to test store policy, JP has found a real hack, which is they don't really require you to make a purchase of anything else in order to make this super low price deal work. So they must have overlooked the fact that the coupon stated that you need to make a purchase to get the 199 kid meal. I got it without a purchase. However, if I were to make a purchase, I would just buy another boo book. A boo book? You just keep cycling the process. A boobook? Over and A boobook? Over and over again. Over again. A boobook? Until they stop doing it. Hi, I got the free uh, Junior Frosty coupon. Okay, how many coupons do you have? Uh, five. Okay, you want uh, five coupons? Yeah, can you just, uh, just to make it easier, can you just put it in like a large cup? Okay. What the th This also involves paper coupons and testing store policy and is not dependent upon the app. And yeah, in the past, I would make fun of his little noise that he makes there because it was so much download the app and then that's the only way it works. You don't need the app to get the boo book. And now, by testing it, he has demonstrated that you can use all of the Frosty coupons at once. You don't have to make one visit for each time that you use it. And you can combine the coupons, which technically you're not supposed to be able to do, yet he's done it. Oh, I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you, dude, Wendy don't care. Wendy don't care. Literally says on there, not available with any other coupon. They do not care. This is absurd. This is absurd. I'll take it. It's behind the hack, behind the scenes of the hack. I'm going to make a short version. All of this food at Wendy for $3. So when you see it, don't get all, oh, you already posted. All of this food at, YouTube's weird. Like, they don't dish out the same audience to long and short. Like, I dish out a short, ain't none of the long people see it. I dish out a long, ain't none of the short people see it. They're segregating short and long people. And that's messed up. Doesn't matter how, what size you are. Should not be discriminated. Everyone should be dished the same material. Shorter, long, thinner, skinny. Whiter, yellow, thanks for being here. I'm a hero. JP has perfectly clean fingernails. That may not be too important yet. Who do we know performs with filthy fingernails? Ding! You're a hero. You're a hero, Wendy. I ain't no hero. <laughs> All of this food at Wendy for three dollars. We are almost done. And don't go away just yet, JP is now going to tell you what happened to Healthy Junk Food and what he's doing about it. Let me show you how. I just want you guys to know, I'm not gone from Healthy Junk Food. I'm just currently locked out of Healthy Junk Food. I'm working on getting that back. See? Boom. This has been like two years in the making, guys. My heart and soul went into this book. It's not just hacks. Look at that. The art was done by my friends. They did such a good job. And this not only supports my buddy Sebastian. This is my dream. This is what I want on my birthday. But it will also support my comedy journey. So if you guys want to pre-order this, I highly appreciate it. And then look at this. Look at this picture. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> All right, buy the book. Bye. So back when I was disappointed at the material that Healthy Junk Food was producing, and that JP and Julie were not being honest about what was going on, I criticized this book as being filled with a bunch of hacks that are going to be obsolete as soon as it gets printed. So now you're going to say, Kitty, I see you're going to walk back on what you said? Not entirely, a little bit. Uh, some of these offers will have legs, and some won't. The thing is, I left out the positive aspect of the book, which was that it would still be a fun thing to get. It's just that we didn't know what was going on back then, and now we know. And plus, I was a little bit ticked that JP came over here and left a comment, you know, about somebody I don't want to mention in this thing. Ding! And, um, you know, he was suffering at the time, and so I forgive it. And, um, th this would still be a fun book, because it's got some artwork in it. JP's friend did the artwork. We're not surprised by that, right? You know, there's the talent, JP, and his friend did some work on this. So while it will help Julia, it'll also help JP and his friend too. The other part was that because JP and Julia are fighting right now, this book has both of them in it and healthy junk food in the title. 
it could be a bit of a weird collector's item. Like, not the Kindle edition, I'm talking the real book. So, to be on Team JP, if you want to grab this bit of a collector's item, it would be fun to have. Because the two of them are in it, and we, this story has got a lot more to offer. So, um, yeah, I would say go ahead, buy the book, and go to JP's channel too, and uh, check what he's doing there. And as for myself, to be honest, yay for me, because I pushed this way past 8 minutes. <laughs> Great for me doing so.